All right, so you just sold your house on the East Coast or the West Coast, and you're looking at Oklahoma and you're thinking, how do I know which home to buy? And you're especially interested in a floor plan where the primary suite's on one side and the guest bedrooms are on the other side. Is that something you're looking for? Or you absolutely want to be sure that you're not right on top of your neighbors where you can stick your hand out the window and give them a high five while you guys are both doing dishes? Well, then you're in luck because today we're looking at Addington Farms in Edmond, Oklahoma. Huge one acre lots, gated entry. You're going to love this, these houses. You're going to love this neighborhood and you're definitely going to love the price point. We're talking $750,000 houses average average seven hundred fifty thousand dollar houses in Addington Farms of Edmond, Oklahoma. So stick around. Let's go. Oh, what's that? How's the town? Oh, guys, I'm so glad you asked. We're talking about Edmond, Oklahoma, Edmond, Oklahoma and Deer Creek schools, Deer Creek schools, guys. Greatschools.org, check them out for the uh, for the info on the schools. Because I don't have kids at Deer Creek, it's better to get it from other parents that leave reviews. Greatschools.org, Deer Creek, Oklahoma school system. And then when you're talking about Edmond, Oklahoma, check out niche, N-I-C-H-E, niche.com. It's getting an A- minus for almost everything, and it's rated the top city to live in in the whole state of Oklahoma. So not only are you getting great schools with Deer Creek Schools, according to greatschools.org, not me, I don't have kids there, but you're also getting the number one city to live in in all of Oklahoma. So you got big lots, you got homes with plenty of space, and you've got one of the best cities in all of Oklahoma. Does that sound like something you're looking for? You're right, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let's take a look at an example of what $750,000 will buy you in Edmond, Oklahoma in a gated neighborhood on one acre plus lots. Let's go take a look at it right now. Man, you guys are going to love this living room. I cannot wait to show it to you. Thumbs up if you're excited about that. Let's go take a look at the living room. Oh yeah, right before the living room, check this out guys. You've got a great coat closet, AKA, uh, what is that called? A vacuum machine closet, AKA Swiffer brush closet all right here and of course if you've got the kiddos you've got that giant trailer thing closet you just you kind of use your hips and you kind of shove it in right there you know you know that thing that's a giant cart not the red wagon that we used to have that was made of metal and cold now they got the comfy carts you can shove all of that right here in this giant coat closet look at this i can literally fit in the coat closet i can literally fit in it that's how big it is you guys are gonna love the rest of these features of this house like i said a thousand times let's go look at the living room All right, guys, uh, while you're looking around the house, while you're becoming familiar with it, I'm just gonna point out some things about it that bring your attention to. And if it's something that I've already mentioned that you've already seen, guys, then of course, just comment down below. Josh, I already saw that. Quit telling me things I already know. But what is amazing is the space. Guys, I've gone to realtor.com, I've gone to Pillow or whatever that website's called, and I've seen some of the houses that the East Coast and the West Coast charge $750,000 for, and I'm blown away. So, and our customers that we're helping on a weekly basis when they're selling, buying, or investing in Edmond, Oklahoma, they're blown away everything that you can get. This little dining room right here, and, and I use little as a joke, guys, this dining room is huge. If you have those giant uh, hutches where you put your NASCAR plates and stuff like that in there, you can put it over there. You can put it over there. If you've got the giant, uh, you know, what is it called? Eight person seat where you've got two giant captain's chairs, you could put that right here. Or, or if you wanted this to be a little study nook, for the kiddos, put, put a couple desks over here so they can get the morning light to help them wake up when they're doing their study, when they're doing their school, their play. Guys, this, it can be your dining room, it could be your study room, or if you like to read Kindle, or if you're like me and you like to have Kindle read to you, I just buy the audio version and it reads it to me, you can sit right here and enjoy the book that you've been wanting to read in the peaceful morning sun, in the peaceful morning sun. What's even more amazing about Addington Farms, guys, and I'm not, 
I'm not just trying to make it all about edited farms, but I want you to know right now, there are sites available to still, if this home doesn't work for you, if this floor plan doesn't work for you, there's still sites available where you can reach out, get on my schedule and I connect you with the builder and build your own home because guys, this neighborhood literally feeds into the elementary school. Like you can possibly, there might not be, at the time of this video, there might not be, or there might be lots available on the lake. You could get a lot available on the lake, build the dream home if you want, and feed your kids right into the school. It's literally across the street, guys. How awesome would that be to have the elementary school in your new home, in your new neighborhood, in your new city, because you love America and be able to walk your kids to school and not worry about putting them on a bus or having to even jump in the car and make sure it's charged up all the way before you go. <laughs> Come on, that's gotta be a huge positive. All right, thumbs up on that one. Let's go ahead and talk more about the kitchen. Now, if you have family members that do have joy in eating like me, like me, you are gonna be rest assured that there is so much room in this kitchen with plenty of room. That is the space you get in this price range, guys. People are so blown away what $750,000 could buy in Oklahoma. It's like you're buying a castle. It's like you're buying a castle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the fireplace. I wanna point out some things on this fireplace. Now, what I love about this design, and remember, if you wanna build a different fireplace, by all means, build a different fireplace. But I wanna point out some really cool features on this one. It doesn't have that little sitting area. You know how sometimes it has a sitting area here where the kiddo, you have to like put, you have to put the, uh, the covers or the pillows all over the sitting area because the little kids horse play too much. Like, why won't they just stop running? <laughs> they like to run and then they like to run, every, run into everything. You know what I mean? The way this fireplace is designed, you don't have to worry about that. It's just a nice flush wall. It's just a nice flush wall. And guess what? Also guys, you can't actually get to the fireplace. So you don't have to worry about them, you know, being rotten little kids or trying to grab sticks out of the fireplace when they're not supposed to. Thumbs up, thumbs up if that's a positive. And yes, yes, this back porch, this back porch, oh, I'm gonna save it for last. I'm gonna save it for last. Do you guys wanna go look at the guest bedrooms next or do you want to go look at the primary suite next? Or, or do you wanna look at the bonus air, the bonus room? What do you wanna look at? Comment down below, I'll wait, I'll wait, three, Two, one, let me read the comments. Let me read the comments. Let me see what you guys picked. The primary suite. Okay, okay, let's go look at the primary suite. Right, right, look at this primary suite. Guys, I've, I've seen the houses on the East Coast and West Coast. Their living rooms aren't as big as the primary suite you get in this price range in Oklahoma. Am I right? Thumbs up, thumbs up. If, if, I'm, if I'm tugging at your heartstrings, if your throat's starting to get a little dry and you're starting to be like, oh my gosh, babe, or I cannot wait to move to Oklahoma. What you've seen online, what you've seen on my channel, guys, it's all true. People literally wave hi to you here when you're walking down the sidewalk. I was doing the driving tour of the neighborhood. You've seen me throw up a couple of the houses now this time. There were people outside waving hello. People waving hello. They weren't just flipping off my camera. They were literally waving hello and saying hi and stuff like that. You're gonna absolutely love it. And in this price range, guys, you also get graded features like rigid core. You get upgraded features like rigid core. You get upgraded features like rigid core flooring, guys. Rigid core flooring, if you don't know about it, Google it, and while you're Googling it, I'll tell you a little bit about it, what I know. Now, I'm not the builder. You, you get on my schedule, book the link down below. We'll do a three-way call with the builder. We'll get, we'll get you connected. You're gonna fall in love with them. You're gonna build your dream house. Everything's gonna be amazing. Unless, if you're able to buy this home before it sells, this video, it could be a week or two before I ever get these out. So this, this house that I'm showing you the floor plan on, it's for example only. I'm not marketing this home for sale because it might actually be sold already. But the rigid core flooring, guys, it's wood-like flooring. But get this, without the grout. You know how grout gets dirty and it gets stained, right? And without the coldness of wood-like tile. Wood-like tile's great, don't get me wrong. I loved it, I loved it until I was introduced to rigid core flooring. So you get the wood-like feature, you get the warmth, 
the warmth of wood, you get the low maintenance because it, it's it's not wood, it's, it's rigid core. And guys, it's floating, it's floating, there's no grout, and there's a membrane between the cement and the rigid core flooring itself. So you have all these amazing benefits. If you're an agent and you're enjoying my videos and you're like, wow, Josh does cool videos. Hey, I invite you, I invite you to call, email me or book a call, book a Zoom call down below guys, because I wanna chat with you about working together, working together at EXP Realty. I want you to be able to say, to harness the same tools, technology, training and coaching that I have available for me and my business in your real estate business, guys. If I can do this, you can do this, and I wanna work with you. I invite you to call me, email me, or click on the link down below. Let's talk about working together at EXP Realty. All right, let's get back to the video. If you, if you, what is it called? If you're a fur mama or a fur daddy, and you've got puppies that like to be inside with you and you know charge you $120 to, get, to go get a hair puppy cut, guys, you're gonna be excited about this flooring type because they're little fingernails. Now, if you've got a 200 pound Great Dane or something like that, their fingernails might be able might be able to scratch it a little bit. But what the builder has told me is that it's almost non-scratchable, almost non-scratchable. Now, if you get a grand baby piano and you drag it across there because your movers don't like you or something, you might scratch it. But when it comes to your fur babies, guys, you're gonna love the feel, the look, the durability, the maintenance that's involved with rigid core floor. Now, let's go ahead and talk more about the finishing on your new home. How much do you love that accent wall? Is that not just say Magnolia Place? Is that what it's called, guys? Did I say that right? Magnolia Place? What are those, uh, Johan and Jesse? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get burned so bad online. What are their names? But you know who I'm talking about. Doesn't that just say welcome home? Am I right? I know it's not shiplap, but it's, it's good, right? Thumbs up, thumbs up, it's good. And yes, the primary suite of this floor plan also leads to the back patio. And I'm holding that to last, because you're gonna be blown away. I said one acre lots. You're gonna be blown away by it. Let's go look at the primary suite spa. Let's go look at the primary suites spa together. And your, your jaw, you hold it up, hold it up. I know it's falling down, hold it up. For only $750,000, only $750,000. Let's go take a look. Before we take a look at the primary bathroom, guys, I wanted to show you where Addington Farms is in the Oklahoma City metro area. So here on the map, I've got the Oklahoma City metro area pulled up for some, uh, for some, uh, what is it called? Landmarks, landmarks. Here's the Oklahoma City Zoo. Here's Will, here is Will Rogers Airport. And then over here is Tinker Air Force Base. So the Oklahoma City Capitol, they are right in this area right here is the Oklahoma City Capitol right there. So you kind of got an idea on where it is. And you, of course, got the landmarks of Overholzer, Overholzer Lake, and then you've got uh, Lake Hefner right here. So just six miles north of the mall, guys, the Quell Springs Mall, just six miles north of it. You, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right here, right here, guys, that is where Addington Farms is, Addington Farms is. So it's only 30 minutes to the airport, jump on 77, cruise down the turnpike, and boom, you're at the airport, or jump on 77 and take it straight to the airport, uh, 30 minutes to the airport. If you wanna to get to downtown Oklahoma City, if you work at the state capitol or you work for the state itself, it's only a 29 minute drive. It's only a 29 minute drive. So Addington Farms, gated neighborhood, giant lots, great location. You're falling in love, right? Let's take a look at the primary bathroom. What about this? What about this, guys? Can you believe this? Just look at this. Is this, is this just not, I feel like I'm in a spa. You know those places where you go and they make you wear these giant, uh, these giant like wrap thingies and they, they do your nails and your toes and things like that. You know what I'm talking about? Could you imagine having that as your primary suite for only $750,000, guys? $750,000. You have a, let me move the camera real quick. You've got a shower tub combo. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that room was bigger than my room in college. A shower tub combo that is bigger 
than my room in college, let alone the his and her sinks. And look at the size of these mirrors. You can look here. Let me move the camera real quick. Watch this. You can see everything on your backside and front side without moving. Without moving. It's, it's one of those infinity mirrors. You know those crazy mirrors where there's infinite amounts of yourself replicated over and over and over and over and over again? You have an infinity mirror set up in your giant spa-like bathroom. How amazing is this? And these sinks, guys, these are almost no splash because it catches all the water in it. How nice is it to not have to constantly clean up water because the kiddos keep getting water behind the sink? Thumbs up, because you know, even though it's a primary suite, they're in here. They're in here brushing their teeth, doing everything else because it's easier. Guys, the features and the quality they built in these homes in Oklahoma, the city of Edmond, it's no joke. It's no joke. They are all over these builders to make sure that everything is done right. You are gonna absolutely fall in love with Edmond, not only because of everything I showed you at the beginning, but also because of everything you can get in the housing for only $750,000. Look at this closet. This closet, no joke, is bigger than my bedroom in college. No joke on this. This closet is, that master bath was close, but this closet, absolutely. Do you have enough shoes to fill up all those shoe holders? Do you? Well, guess what? There's more right here. There's more shoe holders right here. You don't even have to have a dresser. Is that what it's called? A dresser where you put your clothes in it with a closet like this. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if I'm pulling at your heart heartstrings right now. Let's go take a look at the mudroom. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You know those new washers and dryers where you've got the what it's called the front load? Like the front load? Guys, here's a little hint. That they invented those so you have to buy more maintenance. Just a side note, they invented those just so you have to buy more maintenance. And for those things you don't wanna dry, don't worry, you've got the rods to hang everything up on. Plenty of storage, plenty of countertops. My battery's starting to run low, guys, so I'm gonna take you to the guest bedrooms real quick, and then we'll go back to the bonus. Let's go. What you're gonna absolutely love about this guest bedroom, guys, is you also get the east morning sun and it has its own full bath, its own full bath. Let me show you real quick. This guest bed bedroom closet is also amazing. It has three rods, three shelves, plenty of storage for any kiddo or mother-in-law or father-in-law if you want to have a stay-at-home babysitter or if you wanna have a stay-at-home fur babysitter. Thumbs up. Let's go look at the other guest bedrooms. Now there's two more guest bedrooms over on this side of the house, guys. You are gonna be blown away by all the storage. Look at that linen closet. That linen closet, guys, if you get one of the smaller gun safes, you should be able to fit that gun safe through the door and over to the right, guys. There's so much space in that closet. And here is our guest bedroom number two. Let me spin the camera around. Let me show you how spacious this bedroom is. And this bedroom, guys, faces the backyard. So that's really nice being able to face the backyard. Here is the Jack and Jill bath right here. And look at this tub, guys. Is that not mind blowing? Look at the size of that tub. You could take, you could take swimming lessons in that tub. That is amazing. And don't worry, you're like, man, I must have a bunch of hot water tanks for this house. No, no, you have a continuous, a continuous hot water tank. So once you turn it on and the water heats up, it's continuously that warm, no matter how many gallons you use. So you could fill up all three tubs if you want and still have the same temperature of water running through the system. I'm telling you, what you get for $750,000 is literally mind blowing in Oklahoma. That's why you're gonna love Addington Farms. That's why you're gonna love this builder. And that's why you absolutely gotta get on my schedule. Click the calendar link down below so we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call so we could go deep on exactly what you're looking for. In case Edmond might not be the city for you, in case you don't like Sprouts, you don't like Best Buy, you don't like a mall, you don't like a great uh, easy commute to the airport, there's other towns available that we would love to talk with you about. All right, let's go take a look at the bonus room and then we're gonna finish off inside, we're gonna finish off inside the back patio area because this yard is gonna blow you away. Guys, this house is so big, I literally just forgot where the bonus room was. That's how huge this house is. I was about to walk into the other guest bedrooms again. 
Let's go take a look at this bonus room. You're gonna fall in love. Whoo, man. Yes, another bathroom. Another bathroom in this amazing bonus room. Do you uh, play indoor tennis? What is that called? Table tennis? What is that called? Ping pong? Do you play that game where you hit the ball back and forth to each other like you're outside on a tennis court? You could have an inside tennis table court in here. Or if you're more traditional and you wanna play, what is that game called? Uh, where you shoot the cue ball and it hits the balls. Um, pool! If you want to play that game called pool, there's plenty of room right here. If you want the, you know how we talked about having the kiddos study down there on the morning window in the front area? Well, you could actually have a full-blown classroom up here. Plenty of plugins, plenty of places to put little desks, little drop-down screen where you could do all of the teaching and stuff. Guys, the bonus room up here, it's as big as some people's houses. This bonus room is huge. There are houses down by Oklahoma City University that aren't as big as this bonus room. Let's go take a look at the backyard and on the way, I'm gonna tell you about the four car garage. Have you been spending a lot of money on storage? Do you have one or two too many cars? Well, don't worry. <laughs> For only $750,000 guys, you get a four car garage too. And it's not no tiny garage. These are wide bays long base you're gonna fall in love with this garage let me see if i unlock the back door yes i had it unlocked i am so excited look at this backyard look at it that is all your yard folks that is all your yard do you like volleyball do you like baseball do you like softball you can do it all you can do it all. 43,560 square feet of lawn, of lawn. The house takes up some of that. The house takes up some of that. But look at this backyard. What could you do back here? Could you put up one of those giant tents and have a wedding? Could you put up one of those giant tents and have a family reunion? What could you do in this backyard? Comment down below. Comment down below. <music> I want to chat with you about the city of Edmond, Oklahoma. As you can see, it's got two beautiful colleges. This college is Oklahoma Christian. And there's also UCO located in the middle of Edmond, just probably about four miles north of here, actually, uh, is where UCO is. So if you think that having two colleges in the same town that you live is something positive, Edmond, Oklahoma might be the town for you. Is health and fitness important to you? Well, then Edmond, Oklahoma's got you covered. Just Google gyms in Edmond, Oklahoma. Google's gonna tell you there's 20 pages of 20 results of gyms in Edmond, Oklahoma, but I don't think there's that many, but I know there's a lot, there's a whole lot. And one of the cool things about Edmond, Oklahoma, sidewalks everywhere, sidewalks everywhere. So if you wanna walk to the dog park, if you wanna walk around the mile, cause we have lot and blocks in, in uh, Oklahoma, every, every mile is a square. You'll, you'll just Google it, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you wanna walk around the whole mile, well, Edmond, Oklahoma's got you covered with health and wellness with sidewalks and gyms. But what about wanting to do things? Edmond, Oklahoma's got you covered on that too. We've got movie theaters, we've got bowling alleys, we've got golf courses, tennis courses. There are so many different offerings that Edmond, Oklahoma has to offer you when it comes to recreation. You'll never find enough time to do them all. You never will. And, and if you do, if you do, I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you a dollar if you do them all. Your health and wellness will be really happy, but you'll also have a dollar. Real quick, guys, in all seriousness, if you don't know who I am, my name is Josh Bardet with EXP Realty. I want to help you. My team and I want to help you with all your real estate needs when it comes to selling, buying, or investing in Edmond, Oklahoma. So if you're thinking about selling, buying, or investing, selling, buying, or investing in Edmond, Oklahoma, Call, email, or click on the link down below to schedule a Zoom call so we can find out what your real estate needs are and help you accomplish your real estate goals. Let's get back to the video. And guys, another reason you might like Edmond, Oklahoma is Google it. Google it, top cities to live in in the United States. Edmond, Oklahoma always gets in the top 100. 
Look at livability.com, for example. Livability.com, with 230 days of sunshine in Edmond, Oklahoma, and all the recreation available in Edmond, Oklahoma, it puts Edmond, Oklahoma at 770 points out of a thousand point scale in positive attributes that cities have to offer its residences. So if you believe everything that livability.com tells you, Edmond, Oklahoma should absolutely be on your list when you're looking at places to live. From today's video, guys, I hope you've realized why so many people are falling in love with Oklahoma, why so many people are moving to Edmond, Oklahoma, why, why about, uh, what is it, uh, 90,000, a little less than 100,000 people have called Edmond, Oklahoma its home. Deer Creek Schools, gated entry, Addington Farms, you can literally walk your kid to the elementary school. It has neighborhood lakes, but there are houses around it. And guys, I've probably counted 20 geese, 20 geese in the neighborhood since I've been here. Sidewalks throughout, plenty of room to roam, to enjoy yourself. You're gonna fall in love with Addington Farms, and I hope you do. All you gotta do, Get on my schedule down below. Give me a call, Calendly links down below. And on a side note too, if you're one of the agents that love watching my videos and you're thinking about making a career change, give me a call also. I wanna chat with you more about how eXp Realty is obsessed with your success. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.